I'll see you later. You doing okay? Yeah, why should I be? I don't know. So you got your man? <laughs> yes, I did. Come on, spill details, please. No, no, no. Too intimate to kiss and discuss. What kind of girlfriend are you anyway? <laughs> well, at least tell me about Nick. He moved out. Finally. I told you there was a room. At least I tried to tell you. You did. Only you got Nick on the phone. He pretended to be me. Yeah, by the way, sorry about uh, saying that you were drunk. Oh, hey, forget it. Like that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you did have my back. Oh, honey, I guess you're the gay son I never had. Really? Mm. So how's my brother the straight one? Mm, Rex has been better. Still problems with Stacy? Yeah, well, listen. That would be great compared to having his father in town. Yeah. After all the trouble you went through to keep Rex from finding out about Mitch. Yeah, it was bad enough when Mitch was a corpse. Now it's even worse that he's breathing. I just... I don't get it. What? How, how did you end up having a kid with somebody who scares you so much? Did I just, like, blow it completely? No. I threw my relationship out the window. No, no. You did something harder. Braver. What? You stop trying to control it. And Gigi. Yeah, like that would ever happen. Well, it doesn't stop most of us from trying, but no matter what, you already won. <laughs> that is such bull. Mm, yeah, maybe. I win when Gigi comes home. I did not dump your father. Mom, Shane, we talked about this. Yeah, you didn't say that you were coming up here to be with Skylar. That wasn't the plan. Yeah, right. You had sex with him. Watch it. It's so obvious. Okay. I'm going to get dressed, and then we'll talk about this in the car. Are you coming home? I am taking you to Justin's where you told your father you would be. You can't just take off on people, Shane. What? Only you can? I will be two minutes. Oh, uh, uh, you want you hungry? You want some food? Some no. chocolate? Okay. I'm really sorry, buddy. That you snaked mom away? Or that I found out? I'm sorry that you found out this way. You sorry that you've busted up my whole family? <laughs> Shane, nobody wants that. I mean, you heard your mom's family story. I'll wait in the car. Okay. What do you have for me? Uh, today's mail, uh, schedule, call list. Every member of the city council has called this morning. <laughs> of course they have. Uh, and we have requests uh, for comment about Bo Buchanan's firing. I've already given the press everything that the I have. The Banner and, and the Inquirer in Philly both want to talk to you. You mean carve me up. How are we doing with the press? Uh, uh, the Sun loves us. Everywhere else is, um, mixed. Dad's not picking up his cell. Should we, should we try texting? Dad doesn't do texting. You're right, we should go to the house. Uh, that's what Bree and I did at Christmas time. Mom must have known about Belle and Nora. You think? She sent us over there, and Dad seemed off. Now it makes sense. You know what, we should, we should give Nigel a call and see if he knows what's going on. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, do you have a minute on a case? I will get out of your hair. Just call me if you want to talk and, you know. is holding to her position to fire Bo. Yeah? I just have a very strong suspicion that Mitch Lawrence is behind all of this. I mean, not that Dorian wouldn't want to just stick it to the Buchanan's any day, but it was something about the way she said she was protecting her family. And I'm convinced... 
I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, huh? sweetheart. I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't. Don't be... Um... No, let's forget about Mitch. He's not our problem. Sweetheart. Hmm. What's wrong? Has something happened? Uh, sit down. I... There's something I need to tell you. 